Here is Willock. Now Todd Kane, in comes the cross. It's a dangerous one. And it's the breakthrough, and it comes for QPR, and it's Elias Chair. Not too much Dan Bentley could have done about that. It's a well-placed header. Bristol City will have to come from behind. Yeah, it's a really good cross into the box from, from Todd Kane there, and it really causes some problems, and the guys just nicked in between, I think, and then a good header into the corner, unfortunately. Goal number six for the season for Elias Chair. Superb ball from Todd Kane and Mariapa can't quite find the connection with the cross. And Chair places the ball into that far corner. Chair eventually gets the cross away, a well-worked move, off the post, still alive. And it's a second. A very unlikely goal scorer in the form of Robert Dickey. Bristol City now face a real uphill task. Yeah, we'll be disappointed with that one. It's a, a routine that quite a few teams usually try, trying to get that guy peeling off at the back stick. And we had several chances to clear that, unfortunately weren't able to, and it's ended up in the net. You can see the frustration on Dan Bentley's face, and I think it's sparked some thoughts in the coaching staff's minds because Semenyo is stripped and ready to be introduced straight away. Tyreek Backinson is the man that's going to be sacrificed. No injury by the looks of things. But sometimes in these si situations, Chris, it's uh, more of a tactical switch than anything else. from Dieng. A few cries for a free kick, but Sessignon has room to find a cross. Still going here, Sessignon. Wrong foot's Kane, squares it, Jack Hunt! Oh. It's a goal line block from Device and scooped up by Dieng. That's as close as Bristol City have come. Yeah, really positive by Sess there. He's got some great feet, nice little chop inside, good cross. Honey just dragged it a touch, I think, there. It was unlucky. Good play, though. to the final minute of stoppage time and Bristol City win back possession. Here is Pearson. Sessignon, good turn of pace from him. Numbers forward here in red shirts. Jeju into Semenyo and Naki Wells lashes it over the crossbar. Good play, unlucky. Light our intensity there on the press. Antoine nicks it. Um, we're nice and high and, and, and tight on their, on their play out and Obviously leads to another shot. I think Naki would be disappointed. He, uh, he's got very high standards himself um, fr from training and playing with him. He, he'd be expecting to put that one on target, but unfortunately he just got a little bit too much on it. Good patient build-up from us here. It's nice to see that we're not trying to give the ball away a little bit too quickly. We're just holding on to it, waiting for the space to develop. Barbeck didn't measure the drop of that ball there. It's opened up here. Naki Wells with a shot. Sam Pearson into the hands of Dieng, but that's better. It was, yeah, it was nice, like I said, nice patient build-up, I think. Just waited for the opening there and nice longer ball out. Obviously led to the, to the opening on the edge and Sam Pearson just didn't quite catch hold of that shot. Superb strength from Bristol City's number 45. Still going here, the home side. Jeju Naki Wells oh. blazes it over the crossbar into the south stand. Golden opportunity for Bristol City. Yeah, without seeing that back, I think he's got a score there, but great play from Casey, really positive driving through the midfield again. Feeds Hunty well, nice little over. The opportunity for Naki Wells to score against his former club just bobbled up slightly, you see there. Referee brings this game to an end, and it's uh, more heartbreak at home for Bristol City. It's a fall to a, a 2 0 defeat, and Chris, heartbreak again, but good now that Nigel Pearson can get a full week with these players heading into next weekend. I think so, yeah. Um, home form has obviously been a struggle for us, I think, um, over these last few months, that's for sure, and, and this season. So I'd imagine that's something that the manager will want to correct. Um, like you said, he's got a full week now to 
to get a few messages across to, to the squad and to the players that have obviously played and in what he wants moving forward. And I think um, that will be invaluable. I know it's not the result that any of us wanted um, today, but hopefully lessons can be learned from this to, to make sure these things don't happen moving forward.